How to do a fill with poly gel enhancement nail art tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I did a fill with poly gel on just my thumbnail. So I did about uh, two weeks ago or so, I showed you how to sculpt a nail with poly gel and just kind of my thoughts on poly gel and I thought I would come back and do my thoughts after wearing it for a little bit longer and then filling it what I thought. Filling it super easy and especially if you don't use an e-file because the product is so soft and easy to file, you can get rid of lifting so rapidly. And there really wasn't much for lifting. I mean, you will see that in a moment that there, I mean, I did have a little bit on one side, but really it was very minimal. And I'm somebody that does tend to lift more than others just because I beat up on my nails and I was working a lot with this on. So, I mean, I'm just saying that it really, considering everything that I did and I didn't prime it at all, it did not hardly lift. And so that was really nice. And like I said as well, filing, super easy. It was a quick fill. It was actually very, stress-free, I have to say. So I hope you guys like this. And like I've said before, poly gel, I'm actually really impressed with it. And I'll put a link to the original video in the description box below. So I hope this helps you guys out and maybe answers a couple more questions you may have. And don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So to begin with, I'm going to just take my e-file and I'm going to get rid of the little bit of lifting that I do have. And like I said, it was just a tiny, tiny amount right around the perimeter, or right around that top edge that was around my cuticle. Almost none though. And I want to just say that I am using a pretty crazy bit here, but I have the the setting, the speed, that's the word, the speed of my e-file almost on a natural nail setting. It's really, really low. It's just above turned on and as you can see it is taking off the poly gel really rapidly the really nice thing about that is um it's just it's not you're not i mean if you're not used to using an e-file it goes off really quick plus you know like i said if you don't use an e-file if you hand file everything it's gonna take lifting off super quickly i did turn it up though just to shorten this nail a lot i normally don't keep my nails as long as that was i wanted to take it down and i cut all my nails down quite a bit because they were just getting a little long and I every once in a while just like to cut them off and start fresh sort of so I was shortening all my nails and I definitely needed that one shortened as well so I'm just gonna get rid of all the lifting kind of thin it out reshape it a bit and then I'm going to gently push back my cuticles I'm sorry I'm a little bit off camera here I I don't know what was going on I don't know what I'm doing so I just push back my cuticles and I'm gonna take my cuticle cleaner bit and just go right around the edge there get rid of any dead skin cells. I love my cuticle cleaner bit. I know that there's kind of some people who are like, you don't want to use a bit on your nails, but um, I naturally have very thin nails, both fingernails and toenails. I don't know what the deal is, but I don't have any damage from using this cuticle cleaner bit, so I love it. I think it's great. Don't use one if you don't like them. So then I'm just going to clean off the dust. First, I used a nice little manicure brush, and then I just took a little lint-free wipe in some isopropyl alcohol, and I'm going to clean off any oils as well as remaining dust that stuck on there. And then grabbing the poly gel and that little multi-purpose tool, or multi-tool, it's not, you know, little slicer dicer tool. I'm going to grab off some poly gel, not very much, uh, just this very tiny bit. I did end up grabbing too much, though, when I did this. And it's so hard to tell until you stick it on the nail exactly, you know, if you have too much or not until you get used to it, I'm sure, and get more acquainted with exactly how much squeezing you need to do of the bottle. But then I dipped my gel brush into some of that slip solution, and then I'm going to start pressing it out. Now, when I did this, um, my nail was a week and a half grown out, and I don't know if you guys could tell very much. There really wasn't much for outgrowth when I started this process, and generally, I probably would not have filled it, but I wanted to get, I was kind of eager, I guess you could say, to try filling it and practicing with it some more, so... I decided I would fill it even though it was just a week and a half plus I really wanted to cut that nail down so I figured I would just take care of all of that at the same time. Um, so generally that probably would have been about the right amount of poly gel for a fill if you had more of a more of an area that needed it but since I didn't it was a little bit a little bit too much so I'm just going to take some of that off. Plus my nails are they're not huge so my thumbnail even though it's a thumbnail it's still usually like a three or a four um, nail tip size so I don't know if that gives you some perspective as to how the sizing of my nail comparatively to other people. So anyways, there you go. That is how I filled it. I'm just going to go around the edge, kind of getting rid of any poly gel that might have gotten too close to my cuticle. We're not. We're trying to avoid lifting, you know, just like you do. I'm going to make sure that the apex is a little bit more prominent than it was the last time. When I did that original nail, I wanted to do it very thin just so that I would kind of have an idea of 
you know, how durable it was if you're not doing it with a huge apex. So now I'm going to start and I'm once again using my e-file in a really low setting. And this bit that I'm using is a finish bit. So it's, a, it's not nearly as coarse. It's a safety bit that's, I think it's a medium safety bit, but it's just, I always use it for finished filing because it isn't going to remove too much product. And so it's on a low setting with that nice safety bit. And I cured that in my LED lamp for 99 seconds and there's no need to cleanse it. So I'm just going to go over and I'm going to shape this nail, make sure everything looks nice and smooth and perfect. I was being kind of meticulous when I was doing this one. Like I said, it was a very stress-free fill. And if you were doing this on clients, it would be a very quick fill as well. I believe, I mean, I guess it depends on the person. Some people, you know, everyone has a different product preference. I generally speaking, I would still probably use acrylic for everything, especially art related, because this doesn't, in my mind, this doesn't really have an art purpose. This is just for on top of nails. And the fact that it isn't a, it's not a soak off product is a little discouraging to me. I do really prefer soak off products. So you know, there's always that. But I'm just going to file the free edge with a hand file, make sure I've got that nice tapered, tapered coffin shape, a very subtle coffin, especially with my now really short nail. Um, but just make sure that I can get that nice and nice and shaped just like that. And that's it. Um, I didn't bother applying gel sealer since I was going to paint it. This poly gel paints really nicely and it holds on to the color. So all that's good. So I hope this helped and please comment with any questions. I'll be happy to answer them and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.